Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle this game of course being brought to you from one of the most recognizable grounds in the british isles it is of course high rocks event for all these supporters yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here we have already started here Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? For me, it has to be the magical Angel Di Maria. What I like uh, about him is how he's tailored his game to play in different positions, whether it be central midfield, attacking midfield, or, or as a winger. You know, he can adapt to whatever's required. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And it's played forward. And it's Firmino. Firmino puts the dink on it. On Saint Chamberlain, and here's from Firmino. Weird, without complication. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Ronaldo is fouled. Decent defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And here's Mauro Icardi. Fabinho goes looking. Over to the left. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's deflected over the goal line for a corner. Short. Plenty waiting in the middle. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. And here's Oxlade Chamberlain. Marquinhos gets his foot in there. We hit half time. And both sides have drawn blanks. So off we go once more. Liverpool clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Them. A 
Donnarumma. It's Di Maria. Played out to the right. He's left his man. There it is! Looks offside, I think. Yep, the flag is up. His delight, very short-lived. The referee's assistant did have his flag up. It might have been close, but it was correct. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Keeper's got good distance on that. Keeper sends it forward. He's found his man. Hakimi will try cutting inside here. Di Maria. It's Di Maria! No mistake! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. A 1-0 lead established. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Forward it goes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fabinho. And he's fouled in there. Booking always looked it. And it's Oxlade Chamberlain. It's a loose ball. Messi. It's Messi. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Fabinho plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Shots, and that is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish, always in the balance.